Welcome to your coverage of IBC, the International Broadcasting Convention in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, if you're keeping score on a map at home. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us. I've got Dan Lenny here from F-Stop Academy, and you've done a lot of the promotional films for this amazing new Sony camera, the FS7. This thing is groundbreaking. It's a super 35 millimeter sensor. It's got XLR inputs, ND filters, and 4K recording on board up to 600 megabits per second. It'll do 180 frames in 1080. It'll do 60 frames in 4K. That's UHD 4K currently, but coming out through a firmware update will be DCI 4K. That's absolutely right. And let's just first of all talk about the design. I mean, it's reminiscent of an old Aton film camera from the way the form factor, the ergonomics, it's, it's a joy to use. You're right, we made the launch films, we made a 2K film, we made a 4K film in Japan. Uh, it's an E-mount camcorder, uses the BPU-60 style batteries from the old EX1, EX3 series. It's part of their XD cam lineup. It's very, very full featured and it produces beautiful images. What are we talking about as far as price on this thing? Because all the buzz this morning is this thing has an E-mount. You can take a, a Metabone Speed Booster adapter. They announced the Ultra today and you can put it on here and adapt virtually any lenses, PL, uh, Nikon, EF. And then you've got something that is just tremendous. You, you can take brick batteries, you have SDI outputs, HDMI outputs, or you can use the batteries you mentioned that are much smaller. This thing gets really small or can grow to be very big. Exactly right. So it's very, very flexible. If you're a boutique video producer and you need a camcorder that's really going to work well in documentary, you can take this off. I mean, this is an optional extra. This doesn't come as standard. So I believe the pricing is around about $8,000. And for that, you get the body and the viewfinder. Um, you can go really, really small form factor, use smaller. We were using Zeiss 2 at lenses on this camcorder in Japan. And they are tiny. The whole form factor is very tiny. Or as you say, Michael, you can build it all up, rails on. This is an extra accessory here, I think, from Volcast. You've got the V-Lock power and the ability to take raw output. And I believe to enable the, um, the ProRes recording, you have to, it's part of the upgrade package with this device here. This is also a new lens, it's a 28 to 135 f4 zoom lens. It has a nice power zoom control on the lens. So if you're an A7S user or you're an FS700 user, you've got the ability to use this lens to have a server controlled zoom. Well, I think what's nice is this camera seems to be, to me, the camera everybody's been waiting for for years because it's very flexible. First of all, the footage I've seen off of it, you've showed me, you shot, is cinematic. and. I just recently shot with the FS700 and the Odyssey 7Q and was stunned by how amazing that looked and how cinematic I was able to make it look. Without the 7Q, the FS700 doesn't look as quite as nice, right? This looked like what I got out of the 7Q with the FS700. It's so cinematic, it's so stunning, but because of the servo zoom capabilities and the XLRs, you can literally use this for anything. This can be your one all-purpose camera, especially because of the SDI app. Well, I think one of the things that's happened probably since 2009 when DSLR started, started taking over is the, the speed at which technology has been evolving has been absolutely monumental. And so we're in a position now where this is just the next generation. Uh, your FS700 is still no less of a camcorder, it's just that there's something new on the block, new kids on the block, um, at a really keen price point. Uh, if you're an FS700 owner, I wouldn't go and sell your FS700 right away, that's still I a would. great camera. Well, you may do, <laughs> but you know, you, you don't need to worry, this is just, there's, there's so much great new technology on the, on the cars at the minute, it's just giving filmmakers great amounts of choice. Look, the FS700 is a good camera, this seems like it's a great camera, and you have so many options, you can go out to an external recorder slash monitor, like uh, an Atomo Shogun or an Odyssey 7Q, you can also record on board, you've got RAW 4K, you can do the ProRes with the upgrade. I mean, it seems like it has everything. To be clear, there's no raw onboard recording. Right, but I mean, if you could go to option if you go into the external recording. Right, but I'm saying you've got all these options. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you can record 4K on board. So that's what I'm saying. And this is in like an $8,000 range package. For, for the start. body, yeah, absolutely. What was your favorite part about working with this camera? Um, well, 14 stops of dynamic range is pretty incredible. The fact that you can record 60 frames per second in 4K, we decided to shoot most of the film in 4K at 60 frames per second. But the 2K film we made, which has not quite been released yet, uh, we shot at 180 frames a second continuously. To have that ability in camera is really interesting. 
Danny, thank you so much for all your time here. It's amazing what you've done with Sony and working with them and, and also with the films you've put together. Uh, I think this is awesome. I'm very excited about it. I know you are, and I want to thank you for watching. Keep it locked to us for all your continuing coverage here from IBC. I'm Michael Artsis. Be terrific.